and welcome to The Real Dating Show. Now, if you're fed up with never meeting Mr. or Miss Right, dating agencies could be the answer to your dreams. Variety is the spice of life, and with thousands of people joining up every year, you certainly get the chance to pick and choose. This is the show that matches real-life men and women on blind dates and takes a closer look at every little detail of their behaviour. And here to observe the dates and to help love along a little bit is author of You and Him, Dr. Pam Spur, and Agony Uncle, Matt Wyman. So let's meet couple number one. That's Ian from London and Michelle from Surrey and see if they'll be a good match. This bubbly, outgoing petite brunette is full of life and up for a laugh. Michelle is described on her profile as energetic and it's actually her ambition one day to run a marathon. She's currently working as a nanny, but she'd like to give all that up and be a successful singer. She loves to rollerblade, paint and dance, preferably with the right man, who makes her laugh, enjoys fitness and has an all-round passion for music. A lively, energetic, handsome man, Ian dislikes stress and the people who cause it. He's described as getting on well with everyone, adaptable and someone who lives life to the full. He travels extensively with his job as an accountant. It's his ambition not to look back on life with any regrets. And he's looking for someone who's going to be a good friend and ideally better looking than him and funnier. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's a good request. <laughs> They're both lively, fun-loving and energetic, but will love being in the air for Ian and Michelle on their kite-flying date. Michelle. Hi, Hi there. Doing? Yeah, very good, thanks. Oh, yeah, he's not distance. very responsive there, is he? He didn't come forward at all to No, just stood there. Hi there, very nice Hi, to meet you. you. Do you want to grab a seat? Sure. I've got lots of water as well, oh, yeah. <laughs> ready for the hot day. It's very hot today. So did you get here okay? Yeah. I'm training from um, Woking. It's a hard situation again for them to kick off on because they're not, they, they don't have any eye contact without it being quite forced and having yeah. to look around to do it. I used to work in Woking. So oh, where about? Just down by the, um, by, where is it, uh, Marks and Spencer's, rather. So talk me through your kite flying uh, skills. Um, I used to have a red one, one of those uh, acrobatic ones. So you are a bit of an expert? No. <laughs> okay, he's fiddling with that bottle cap. He's a little bit tense about this. He's not sure. Like a big tube thingy. Oh, right, like What's that? So, like so you could do like She's being girly. This girly thing of thingy. Yeah, she not can't name it. it yeah. So she needs a little help. Well, she's giving him all the, all the chance <laughs> to take over, but he's not. Actually. If it came down on your head. Touching you the thighs once again. Kind of she is. That, like, she's already up for it. She's sort of doing all the body language. And um, we used to fly on the beach in New Zealand. I was basically just an acrobatical one, was yeah. it? Just like flying around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very but, good. Um, I don't know what these are like, though. I don't know what these are like either. Shall we go and have a look? Okay. Let's wander over and uh, see what sort of kite they've got for us. I think Michelle. I think she's interested. At least physically exactly. attracted. I wonder whether she's doing that. She would do that with anyone, actually. She's just being... Upfront kind of girl, huh? Well, no, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> but initially, with some, I don't know whether she's made that judgment, whether she's actually really interested in him yet. But she's making the best of herself. She's right. being Should enthusiastic. He be, yeah. He's not really trying. I mean, he's kind of he's slouching slightly now. And, you know, it's a good thing that they're up and they're springing up. And now they've got an opportunity but to look up because they're going to go and fly kites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's worked out well, but he could have made a little bit more effort just as she did. That looks rather slick. It's a big one. It looks like the same size as me. Hi there. Ian. Hi, Ian and hi, Michelle. Right, Michelle. Yeah, How hi. are you doing? Nice to meet you. There you go. That looks very impressive. What we need to do, you, you've, you've flown one with these sort of hands before, hands through, hold on to the wrist straps, and to launch it, you do arms out in front of you, yeah. and you've got a big smooth pull down and step backwards all in one go. So. Oh, okay. And because the wind's quite light, you might need to do a few steps like that. Okay. You make that look so easy. And <laughs> so yeah. do you teach He's quite defensive now, yeah. he's got his arms folded. Where I'm she's standing, number. that sort of very loose, easy hip thing, she's very relaxed in her body, at least. With very him? Such an, I think it's such a nice thing for kids to do. It's yeah. something that people have forgotten, I think, yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It's quite nice to fly Oh, see, he's just picking his nail. Yeah. Preferably. You ever like hair anyone? Yeah. <laughs> you have? It's only a member of my family, so it's all right. And do they, do they deserve it? <laughs> Probably. Maybe he does quite fancy her, he doesn't like... She seems a lot more relaxed now that there's a third party. Yeah. I don't know whether or not it's the fact that the, you know, the guy is quite good looking has anything to do with it, but 
he certainly has, has just been put in the background. Yeah, she's more interested in the kites right now than yeah, sort of sure. connecting with Ian. Yeah. Oh, elbows at your side. Oh. You've got most control. Okay. The thing with this kind of date where you do have to do so much concentration, actually it does kind of take you away from yeah. making a bit of a connection. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the noise it makes, a good thing or a bad thing? Oh! It's a good thing on a beginner's kite. You're happy now, aren't you? Oh, how do I do that then? <laughs> See how little you need to move oh, your hands. Right. To I think the instructor's moving on her, definitely. Yeah, you could just walk away now, <laughs> and uh, they never notice. Obviously, that. Michelle's very confident in herself, and uh, and she's not really in tune with the fact, like saying, "Yeah, come on over, look yes. at this, look at what you know." She's enjoying the company yeah, of yeah, yeah. more than, than him. It's something that he probably didn't anticipate that there was just going to be a better looking guy there on the date that she was going to you know, be more interested in. So he's going to have to make an effort now rather than just taking that back seat and waiting for her to bring him in because she's not going to. It might also benefit Michelle because he may actually, his initial impression I think was that he didn't move forward when they said hello so he wasn't that attracted. But actually because she's sort of now with this other guy, mm. yeah. it makes her more attractive to him. Yes, it, it does. Yeah, it he increases her social value, yeah. you know. Yeah, not, <laughs> you want to put it that in psychological <laughs> terms. Absolutely, he's got competition. Yeah. The bidding stakes go up. They do. <laughs> a bad crash. That one won't hurt anymore. Oh, God. Do, do, do you see one of your relatives down there you were going for? No. <laughs> I'm very good. <laughs> I think I've broken it. <laughs> oh, now let's see how they respond in crisis. It's, it's his yeah. chance now, because he's, he's gone. They always say that to me. Still very defensive, though. He's got his, you know, his mm. arm out. And... But his feet are slightly pointed towards hers. Yeah, good sign. It means he is opening up a bit. That... He doesn't have long, though, because the, the instructor's going to be back. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got that added pressure. Where are you going, in? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, look, he's pulling oh. a few stunts. He's going to kill us. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think which way to pull it. <laughs> My landing seems to be less violent than yours. <laughs> Use the opportunity again to talk to her. See, look, she's, she's quite some standoffish now. She's got her legs crossed, she's turned away. It's not necessarily a defensive thing, it can be quite a flirtatious thing as well. Once it gets crossed over and everything, you think it's like really difficult to tell which way to turn it, because you can't say which way is left and which way is right. You sort of just guess and pull. See, he's trying to move in, yeah. get a little bit more engagement. I did a loop. Yeah. But I didn't do that on purpose, so... It's so hard for them when they've got a third party just, you know, around. Other than almost hitting that person walking past, <laughs> I did that on purpose, and they deserved it. Definitely in the way. See, he's been quite self-deprecating, and I think he's, he feels he has to do that because mm. of the but instructor. Bad sign. I know she's looking around, but still, she turned her back on him. She could have turned towards yeah. him to look around. I'd say they're running out of steam together. The, 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 that pause was just went on just a too moment long. too long, and so she just abandoned the moment. This is up to Canada. Mm. And, um, Lake Louise. Thanks. Now, that's quite an intimate way yeah. she's... Yeah. Interesting. Facing oh, him. He's a very useful guy to have. Oh, I know. It's great. He's, he's your favourite. <laughs> My favourite cousin. <laughs> Come stay meet with me for free. And he, and he's Twisting that cat once again. A little bit of sexual tension, I think. Mm. There. I do think she fancies him in, in one way. Ah, okay. So you got an excuse why he's better than you? He's worked really hard. He's made it. He's sort of, you know, if you look at him, the whole body language, he's, although he's got this defensive arm, he's leaning towards her, he's interested. I think he, he would be very interested. He's keeping a bit of a no and yes, isn't he, in there? <laughs> yeah, hedging his bed. Yeah. But that's subdued, though. I think he's really taken a different tack now on the state since yeah. the, the kite flying. It's his intrusion from the instructor. Exactly. I think it's sort of knocked him back, but he, he still wants to go forward, but he's doing it very, very carefully. This is the other thing about carefully. dating, is it's exhausting as well on a first it should because be fun. But it should be fun, but if you're constantly kind of like trying, certainly for in his case where he did have competition, it was probably mentally very challenging for yeah. him, you know, to sort of to deal with. Poor and then lad. as you say, he's, you know, they're sitting down and they're relaxed, but he is certainly, you know, he's building up to it again. And I think he would be interested if she would show a little bit more right. signs that, you know, that's definitely the case with her as well. I think that uh, Ian, Ian is, is kind of interested now, but he is unsure of himself. He's had his confidence not. Whereas Michelle... I, once again, I think there's a question mark for her. I, I, there's no distinct fancy sort of going on.
I agree. I think if it's going if it's going to shift a gear now, then it, it could work. But I still think that she might have the instructor's telephone number in her back pocket, regardless <laughs> of what's going to happen. She's a shrewd woman. So who exactly did Michelle Fancy? Find out after this break. Welcome back. It's definitely getting very hot here on The Real Dating Show. We've just seen Michelle and Ian learning how to fly a kite on their blind date. But quite frankly, Michelle seemed a little bit more attracted to the instructor, Roy. So what did Ian think of all that? She was nicely dressed. She had a nice little summery... summery oops, leave. She had a nice little summery top on. She was looking uh, very relaxed, ideal, ideally dressed, both common and kite flying, and uh, she looked very nice. He was... Um Nice looking guy, very open smile, very sort of friendly, seemed quite outgoing, um, liked to chat a lot. Michelle is not necessarily exactly the type that I would normally go for. She's, um, as I say, a little bit shorter and physically a little bit different. But she's very smiley and I do like very smiley people. And she was smiling and giggling throughout the, the day, which was nice. I don't think it made Ian Cross say I was better than him, although I was. <laughs> as to whether we would go out on a date, I'm not sure it's possible, but I'm not sure either of us were really uh, physically attracted to each other. If Ian phoned me up and asked me for another date, I'd probably go along and get to know him a bit better. Um, I love people and I'm all, always willing to uh, sort of extend my, my circle of friends and um, yeah, so that would be great. Roy the kite flyer was uh, undoubtedly a nice guy and uh, Michelle and he certainly uh, had a common interest there. Romance between them, um, probably professional kite flying interest rather than romance, I would thought. I thought Roy was fab. He was a great guy. Yeah, he sort of had that sort of that, that easier going nature um, that um, that I quite I quite like in a guy to just to be sort of a bit more laid back and uh, and he was yeah he was a really nice person. <laughs> I don't know about running off with him though. <laughs> See, we did feel she was comfortable with both of them. Yeah. <laughs> read between the lines for me. Come on, our experts, read between the lines. What was she actually saying in all that? Do you think she is more interested in Roy, or do you think she's yeah, just Yeah, undoubtedly. I mean, to actually have admitted it, because it was something that was kind of like, you know, going on in, in the background yeah. of it, but to have admitted it, she's obviously very interested. I think he's also probably quite a proud man as well, in that, you know, he, I think it did hurt him slightly that, you know, she went off and, uh, you know, all the, the compliments that he was paying her were nice and smiley. And short. Oh, I think he was he was sort of covering his bases because I think he didn't want to look like he was rejected if she'd said no I wouldn't go on no. a date. I really had that feeling he felt he had to sort of cover yeah, cover absolutely. bases there. Would you like the update because I have got a little yes. inside information. Well Michelle and Ian have had email contact and she certainly hasn't heard from Roy so there we go. Mm -hmm. 